let's look at systems of three variables and three equations again. But this time we're going to look at the dependent system. So this is a system that has an infinite number of answers, whether they're all the same plane, or what, rather if, if it's a line of which three planes are rotated. So we're going to look at the following system. We have x minus y minus z equals 1, and minus x plus 2y minus 3z equals minus 4, and 3x minus 2y minus 7z equals 0. And I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to say, you know what? x is a great variable to eliminate. It's already set up in equations 1 and 2, and it won't take much work to get 3. So we're going to just going to start by adding 1 and 2 together to get x minus y minus z equals 1, and minus x plus 2y minus 3z equals minus 4. We add those together. We get y minus 4z equals minus 3. Here's our new equation 4. If we take 3 times 2 and add that to 3, then we can get rid of the x from 3. 6y minus 9z equals minus 12. 3x minus 2y minus 7z equals 0. We can add these together. Get 4y minus 16z equals minus 12. And this is equation 5. Now it's really nice to take equation 5 and divide everything by 4. And we notice that we get y minus 4z equals minus 3. And that's our equation 5. And if you look carefully, 4 and 5 are the same which means that if I try and eliminate them, I'm going to end up with 0 equals 0, which means we have a dependent system. Now we've got to change our answer a little bit, because we want this to be in x, uh, x, y, z, but we need them all to be referring to something in common. So what we're going to do is we are going to arbitrarily decide that z is our free variable. It's the one that we get to pick. And so we're going to solve for x and y in terms of z. So we're going to start with equation 4. From equation 4, we add 4z and we get y equals 4z minus 3. So now my y is in terms of z. If I know what a z is, I need to find its matching y. We then go back and we pick our favorite equation. I like 1 because the x is positive and it's just itself. And wherever we see a y, we're going to put 4z minus 3. Notice the parentheses. Minus z equals 1. So then x, distribute the negative through. Combine like terms. And solve for x so that x is 5z minus 2. And now x is in terms of z as well. And our answer is going to be the triple 5z minus 2, 4z minus 3, z. And this allows us to pick any particular z, and it will give us a point that will make all three equations true. And this way, we only have to worry about one of the variables at a time. So this is how we're going to write our answer.